The city of Murfreesboro says Middle Point Landfill has tainted not only the water they drink, but the air they breathe. Good evening, I'm Vicki Yates. And I'm Carrie Sharp. The city has since filed a lawsuit against the landfill, claiming they violated federal environmental laws. But Middle Point says they've done everything by the book. News Channel 5 investigative reporter Levi Ismail went through years of reports to find the real story. And Levi, some people say the landfill literally was covering up part of the problem. You know that we found cases where the landfill was, you know, showing elevated levels of methane so much so that they were about 160 times higher than what the EPA considers their safest limit. You would think something like that would trigger major changes, but often the first answer was more dirt. When you live 17 years next to the same neighbors, I've actually got headaches from it. Some things you try to get used to. Well, it's kind of like you just have to bear with it until the next day. Or but for Don Wilson, there. this feels like a losing battle, especially when it gets in your house. You don't get used to that smell. It We're only a couple blocks from Middle Point landfill, and that smell Wilson knows you can't even pretend to ignore, especially on times when the wind is coming this way. It's really bad, and I mean, I'm not the only one that complains about it. 2000 odor complaints and counting since the city of Murfreesboro launched their complaint portal last year. Locals here said stop the stink. Stop Mount Trashmore, and they've been saying it for decades now. For the last and, 20 uh, years, you know, Scott Banbury has been a member coming. of the Sierra Club Tennessee, one of the nation's oldest environmental conservation groups. He's really also very familiar with the landfill right behind him, Is or at least he thought he was. What was your first impression when you had a chance to look through that stuff? Whoa, are these numbers right? Over the past few years, Middle Point Landfill was required to test their system, which carries gases from the landfill to these flares where they're eventually burned off. Surveyors would walk the landfill and flag spots where they found methane leaks above 500 parts per million, which in 2018 alone happened more than 80 times. In 2018 into 2019, they had so many hits above that 500 uh, parts per million threshold that it should have triggered mandatory expansion of the landfill's gas collection system. And they weren't just barely over the 500 threshold. Since 2018, we've seen numbers as high as 45,000, 60,000, even 83,000 parts per million. We counted more than 300 cases where these gas leaks registered above the threshold. But the way it works is that Middle Point has another test after 10 days, 20 days, and 30 days to fix the issue. It's almost like they're giving them like a do-over on their field goals. So what was Middle Point doing to bring those numbers down? Look close and you'll see year after year, the first solution was almost always compacted soil and clay. In other words, cover it with dirt and hope for the best. So it looks like they're just putting band-aids on it and the band-aids, you know, are doing nothing to actually, you know, heal the wounds. Sometimes these levels dropped, so nothing else was done. When they stayed high, Middle Point made more technical repairs. Now, if the problem lingered after 30 days, Middle Point was required to expand their gas collection system in four months. On multiple occasions, Middle Point Landfill was told to expand their gas collection system, and they say that's exactly what they did. They told us that they spent about $7.5 million to expand the gas collection around this facility, and that includes about 4,000 feet of those lines you see everywhere. But even after all of that, some say it's still not enough. It's irritating, but you know, what can you do? There it is, it's, it's just in there. Landfills are a hard neighbor to have, no doubt about it. Mike Klassen has been the general manager at Middle Point for the last two years. What happens here begins and ends with him. So of course we asked, why dirt? Now someone might look at that and think, that's the, that's the bare minimum. While it might seem that that's, uh, you know, the bare minimum, there's a reason it's listed first. And that reason is soil is a fantastic uh, barrier system. We asked landfill engineers around the country if using soil was common practice. Some said yes, but it was almost always followed by some sort of cover to lock in the gas, which if you go by these reports, we don't see any mention of that. Some people might think, you know, if they're just using soil and clay, well, no wonder we're seeing, you know, issues with emissions or, you know, that there's an odor problem. Don't take my word for it that we're doing things the right way here. And certainly don't take, you know, the city's word that we're doing things the wrong way. I think people should trust the state and federal regulatory agencies who have oversight. 
The Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation told us that just because the landfill registers high levels of methane at certain points, it's not considered a violation if Middle Point, quote, follows the remediation requirements outlined, end quote. So by those standards, the state has no air quality violations for the landfill over the past several years. To their credit, reports show Middle Point now has fewer methane leaks than they've had in the past. Klassen says their systems have improved so much, their plan is to build a facility on site turning landfill gas into renewable energy by the end of 2023. So it's possible the same gas neighbors have been trying to keep out could one day keep them warm at home. I'm certainly not saying that we'll never have another area of concern or another violation ever again in the future. Um, in fact, chances are we probably will. But the important thing is, how do we respond to that? Now, the newly announced renewable energy project will break ground in the beginning of next year. Vicki and Kerry Middle Point says that they're moving forward with these plans because they got really good feedback, not only from Rutherford County, but from the neighbors as well. Well, did the city of Murfreesboro have anything to say about this project? Yeah, they actually did just send us a statement. And in that statement, they said, quote, they're concerned that Republic Services paints an inaccurate picture when the reality is completely different and far from acceptable. A proposed project years away does not solve the problems the community is dealing with today, end quote. All right, thanks so much, Levi.